my day started as a typical day, uh, full of errands, full of just phone calls, text messaging, a whole lot that I normally do during the day. And uh, throughout the day, I knew I had some uh, errands that I wanted to do a specific place. After going to um, the dealership, a car dealership to do uh, some uh, car repairs, I subsequently went there, left, went to another errand, beauty supply store, and landed at Walmart. Well, while at Walmart, I um, typically, because I'm so used to uh, being safe and at least thinking that I'm doing the best as a woman to make sure that I'm in a good space or safe in my surroundings. I, um, as I'm exiting my car, I'm making sure my phone's off. I'm making sure that I have everything I need, including my purse, and I'm hopping out of my, my Jeep. And the best thing about it was that I had a parking space. I found one that was right up front. I backed into it, got out of the Jeep, in the midst of that, I see a vehicle that's um, right in front of me. It's dark, but it's broad daylight. And I see it, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to make sure that um, I had the um, space that I needed because there's a walkway. In the midst of that, you know, it's a short distance. Um, I heard someone say, you sure are beautiful. You're pretty. And so, of course, that caught my attention, and I looked up. And I said, well, thank you. And I grimaced just like I'm making my face now. And um, I kind of did that and went around the truck. And I was only in the store probably less than five minutes. But in the midst of that five minutes, I'm coming back out of Walmart and the truck is still sitting there. And um, as I'm doing that, I heard, I looked down and I heard a voice and uh, my grandmother has a very important role. My late grandmother has a very important role in my life. I heard it in, audibly in her voice, but I knew it was the Spirit of God saying, don't look at him, don't look up, although I could only see the shadow of the truck. And uh, when I did that, the Holy Spirit said, don't go in front of him, go around. In the midst of all of that, my next move was, um, I, about 10 years ago, I took a self-defense class. And when, they, when it said that your, um, your eyes become a camera, it was like shutters going off, shutters, shutters. Just as a, a camera, uh, everything just began to go into play. My self-defense, everything that I knew about keeping myself safe, making sure that I'm uh, doing the right things. So as I go around the truck, I get in my vehicle. As soon as I get in my vehicle, I notice that the, the truck that I just went around is speeding up, going around uh, to try at least what I thought was to come where I was. At least I thought he was gonna go on. But um, in the midst of all of that, um, I, my senses kicked in, all the Krav Maga stuff that I, the self-defense, STW things that I've learned, everything kicked in. And um, as I looked around, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, I'm not paranoid, not a paranoid person, never have been, but it was very uncomfortable. So I'm in my truck and I, I because I had backed in, I said, I'm gonna go around the same distance that he did. Well, he was able to go around. And as soon as I made uh, to the lane that I was in, I saw that he had pulled to the side and there was a, a Suburban behind me and I only remember praying, I said, God, please let her go around me because I knew if she went around me that I could detect whether he was really, I was really being uh, followed. And at the same time, I would say, okay, look, what is my next move? Well, what happened next is that um, that Suburban finally went around me as I'm pulled over and I turned my turn signal on to go pretend I'm going in another space um, just as I'm going to go back into the store. And when he saw that another car had passed, a Suburban had passed, and I had not come down that aisle, he inched up and I could see his, uh, the front of his truck. He raced around, and that was the point at that time when God told me, I just know it was God that says that now just gun it, just go, go out of the parking lot. And I drove out of the parking lot 
um, and then I ended up at one of the substations for the police station. And it was such a, a defining moment. I didn't get a tag number. I didn't get all of those things. My main thing, one of the things I did uh, remember from my self-defense class is how not to get cased in, how not to get blocked in. And so that's just the start of where I am now and uh, the empowerment that I'm now uh, wanting to extend to other people. One of the takeaways, if I could use that term, that I think that um, I gained from this is that to make sure I was, I was confident in what I had already learned 10 years ago. When I look back 10 years ago, how all of that information just came out of a, just out of that experience. It makes me know that I need to share with others and then make sure that ladies that you're aware, any woman that you're aware of your surroundings. Um, as I mentioned how I was not I was not texting, I was making sure that my phone was off so that I could get out the car securely and do what I needed to do. But I believe that um, taking that course that I took 10 years ago uh, helped prepare me. And also one of the things I have to put a plug in for the Holy Spirit, it was all Him because it was like it, He was guiding me. But at the same time, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, He bring all things back to your remembrance, which He's told you. Well, because that information was inside of me, it just came readily and it was at the right time and I knew what to do. I didn't panic. Um, even as I'm, uh, it's been uh, some time removed from that experience, I'm not afraid, I'm not paranoid, neither was I before. It just made me uh, very happy that I had taken that class, uh, self-defense class, and prepared myself for a moment like what I experienced. As a woman, I do believe um, that being prepared for moments like uh, what I've experienced is so helpful. Um, when I think about as I got out of the car and I talk about the eyes being becoming a camera lens, every detail about that individual I could do, I could see. And, and not even knowing that when I came out of Walmart that I was going to be able to um, experience what I did, it's like shutters, shutters. That's all I can think about is that my eyes, and it is like a camera, the eyes are the window of the soul. That means you can pierce through and you can see, and I could do a, um, a sketch and it would be a perfect sketch. And that was one of the things that was so ironic to me as a result of going through, um, through the situation. Um, when I talk about, as I exited, one of the things that stood out to me was that everything was lined up because I was so prepared. And I'm in myself, not my self-preparedness uh, individually, and I, again, I have to say that God has been so great to me. As I pulled over, one of the things that stood out as I was able to, uh, I call it gunning it, gunning it out of that parking lot, I looked in my rear view mirror, and the thing that stopped the individual from getting to me uh, was that two other cars had um, collected behind me and that uh, allowed me to get out of the parking lot. And what I take away from that is that I believe that every person needs to have a plan of action. And the plan of action is something that's going to prepare you for moments that you're not even expecting. We pray about a lot of things, we talk about a lot of things, but there's something about being prepared. When you're prepared, you're not you're not shaky, you're not nervous, you you have it all together. You you're going to think at the blink of an eye and that's what happened to me and uh, I do believe that because of that preparedness the self-defense you know someone may use mace they may use uh, knuckles or something that's inside of their purse uh, maybe some people have uh, some ladies I know of have some nice piece of jewelry in their purses or on their uh, strap to their ankles, strapped to their thigh, they're prepared, you're prepared. And that's the thing that uh, is happening for me. I have never been uh, 
a gun advocate and I'm not advocating for anyone else, but from my experience, I never wanted to carry. And it's not in fear, it's a preparedness. And so that's one of the things that I've done. I have signed up for that class to make sure that I'm licensed, make sure that I know how to handle uh, situations um, that would be a perpetrator or somebody that would be um, perhaps trying to do some harm to me. Uh, to be prepared. So I'm all in, I'm all for it. And uh, this is why I believe that I needed this to be documented because of my experience uh, of what I've uh, had to do uh, these past uh, several weeks, almost months. I do believe that knowledge is power. When you're empowered, you, you know better, you can do better. And my situation is, you know, someone I didn't know or a situation that I was thrust into that I was not expecting. But perhaps there's someone that uh, is viewing this or someone that you may know that is in a relationship or, or experiences something like I did they will know what to do. You'll know what to do. And it feels so much, there's a reassurance inside of me that I'm prepared. A preparedness is better than not being prepared. And I think that's one of the things that will help us all uh, do better, know better, and be able to live without having the fear of someone overtaking you.